Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana has um, reacted now to the most recent support zone that I highlighted um, in the last updates and we could really have started wave 5 of 3 now. This is a bit speculative at this stage because we haven't broken yesterday's highs, we haven't broken above the Saturday high yet. So it might very well be that the price is um, still sort of in a broader range there and we could still test this micro support area again but before we dive into the microstructures um, let's zoom out a bit take a look at the pattern from the 5th of august low and you can see here from that swing low we have a five wave move up in wave one which was the rally into the yeah 8th of august high then a corrective pullback in wave two we could have really started that third wave now a um, few problems so we want to talk about them but the third wave, if, if it really is unfolding, the third wave should take us to 236 or higher. That would be the minimum expectation for the third wave. Um, and we are on our way to that target, but there's a long way to go. So it, don't take it for granted. This is not yet uh, confirmed, but obviously the support areas are there. So, you know, the roadmap is clear, okay? But the support area, micro support, will also tell us when the market is deviating from that. So we're going to talk about that right now. Um, but that is the yellow count, could send us higher in five waves towards the yeah, 260 region maybe in five waves. But there is a clear condition that I'm going to talk about when I zoom in. In a more bearish scenario, short-term bearish, but still bullish. Yes, we completed wave one here on the 8th of August. We only had an A wave pullback, however a B wave rally and we could be in a C wave to the downside now and from here a rally could occur but there's no sign wave C has started and we would need to break below support. So zooming in going to the 30 minute chart it will tell us a little bit more about the microstructure. So we have a support zone which I communicated yesterday if we take a look at our discord server yesterday late yesterday we had a top of sorts in place. Let me open that in the browser. This is a screenshot from yesterday. We saw a top of sorts in this wave three. I highlighted this micro support area between 152.50 and 157.75. And the communication was that a top has clearly formed. We now have to watch if the price can find support before breaking below 152.50. Yeah, and this is a stress test for the bulls. So our roadmap our let's say scenario is only really valid on the smaller time frame as long as that 152.50 level is holding below that level we could move down in wave c of two so it wouldn't be bearish but short-term bearish yes that means in other words the 152.50 level a sustained break yeah would challenge the yellow roadmap in the very short term if we zoom in a little bit further you can see that the market has a pullback and rallied to the upside maybe even in five waves so yes, there might be a micro pullback, but this is pretty much what we get, right? We have a pullback and a reaction. So it's already looking good. Now we just need to see if the bulls can can break out because I mentioned in the beginning a few problems. I mean, in terms of problems, I just mean we haven't seen a break above this swing high at 162.50. That would be needed next. And on top of that, the larger degree wave one, the top from the 8th of August, that's the next breakout point. I mean, these haven't been taken out yet. This is what needs to happen next um, because at the moment, this is simply just, yeah, consolidation just below, you could say a, mega, ma a major breakout point here. Yeah, so this level needs to be broken, this trend line. We now actually have three touch points. So it might be that we spend a bit of time below it. Um, you know, there's nothing really confirming wave four has already bottomed. Yes, we had a reaction to support and we've rallied but not broken out yet. So it could easily be that this is this wave four is forming even a triangle before we re would require some patience, you know, but I don't believe in a triangle necessarily because the wave two was very small. So the wave four doesn't need to be massive. But the parameters are clear. And as long as we're holding 152.50, the bulls here have a chance to drive it higher directly. That's the update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter 
for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.